Hi everyone, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your September 2023 general reading. We're looking at the first half of September from the 1st through the 15th and this reading is for our lovely lions, the fire sign of Leo. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for being here and watching the, all the videos on my YouTube channel or any of the videos on my YouTube channel. Um, those of you who hit that like, share, subscribe button, hitting that like button really does help kind of move the channel along. Uh, those of you who comment, who reach out for personal readings, who refer and recommend, my gratitude always. Thank you so much. So Leo, if your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign is in Leo, this video is for you. If you're cross-watching for a Leo, this video is also relevant. If you know your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs, watch those videos as well for additional insight, perspective. Uh, general readings, of course, always resonate a little differently for everyone. So if you know any of your other signs, it's helpful to watch those as well. Now, if you find that something really does touch you, it really does reach you, resonate with you, and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, reach out for a personal reading or information about that for yourself, or as a gift for someone else, or you simply like the reading style and you're interested in a personal reading, please feel free to email me directly, maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you, and I can usually respond the same day with more information. I offer a pretty wide variety of reading choices in all areas of life of all different types and lengths and budgets. There's something in there for everyone. Uh, so if you're interested, please email me. Scheduling of personal readings as I do this full time, it's all that I do, is also done in a pretty timely fashion as well. So message me if you'd like. Okay, Leo, let's see what the first half of September 2023 looks like for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams, clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight. Well, we begin with a bit of obsession. <laughs> the Devil. Could be Capricorn energy for some of you. The Devil often, not always, but often represents... Uh, an obsessive focus on something that that often turns out to be unhealthy it's a classic card that shows up for addictions mental health struggles uh, uh, unhealthy toxic relationships or just an obsession with something now th that's not always negative sometimes it can be positive if you're obsessed about you know doing something that has a positive end goal but we'll see it's a very determined energy it can be rather enslaving through temptation because if it's something that's turned out to be unhealthy, there's a temptation in there. I mean, the devil, uh, the devil usually enslaves through something that's very alluring, something that's very tempting, something that keeps pulling us back over and over and over again because the pull to it is so strong. We can break it, but it's difficult. With the nine of coins, independence, self-sufficiency, self-empowerment, being able to take care of yourself. For some of you, in regards to the financial or economic area of life, the, the this combination of cards is going to be a cautionary sign for you to watch your spending, to watch your your kind of like your budgeting and what you're doing. For some of you on an emotional or relationship level, this combination of cards might represent. Um, being so focused on taking care of yourself or not accepting help from other people or not allowing, you know, a relationship to progress past a certain point. Um, there's a cautionary advice here for some of you about not letting your, your obsession with money and or independence um, be your downfall, basically. So there's a bit of advice here in kind of maybe reprioritizing to something more moderate next we have the six of swords which is nice to see after the devil because the six of swords is a card of healing it's about leaving the worst behind you or the muddy choppy waters behind you and moving into a place that's better it's more calm even temperate moderate placid serene now it's transitional meaning the worst is behind you you're not quite to the other shore and on solid ground yet but you're moving in the right direction it is a card primarily of healing particularly of learning taking lessons with you as well because swords is governed by the element of air which governs our our mind our intellectual landscape with that six of swords we have the emperor uh, might be an aries for some of you the emperor usually represents uh, an individual typically older somebody in a position of some sta status seniority 
uh, decision making ability somebody who's worked long and hard to get there it's typically an older person and now this person represents also or this card represents control accountability uh, domination sometimes domineering now for some of you again this might be linked to you know with the devil and the nine of coins and the emperor here someone whether it's you or someone close to you this is a general reading so for some of you this is going to be you for others of you it's going to be someone close to you someone you're in a relationship with now because this is a general reading the nature of that relationship may be different right the emperor could represent a romantic you know boyfriend girlfriend husband wife although it's typically more of a male energy in that sense it could represent you know a boss somebody who's at the top somebody who's in control um, but because of the devil the nine of coins and the emperor for some of you again this goes back to kind of the earth energy area of your life which is you know money finance property real estate assets the things in our life that make us feel stable and secure whether they're concrete or practical or emotional with a practical element to them there is a cautionary advice here but i do see healing too as well which is nice to be careful about this obsession with acquiring so much spending so much um, wanting to control so much again for some of you this is going to be a relationship with another person that's manifesting this but there is healing here next we have the knight of coins now knights represent offers and opportunities for change the speed at which situations move this is the knight of coins or pentacles meaning it's the knight of earth so this may be a more practical offer or opportunity coming in for you it might be a new job it might be help with something uh, practical help the knight of coins represents steady step-by-step -step, conservative measured diligent approach and work to something He's a little slower than the other three knights, but it's because he's so conscientious, conservative, cautious, and diligent. With the Fool, that's an interesting combination of energy. The Fool, of course, has the zero because this is where the whole tarot journey starts. It represents a whole new cycle, a whole new path opening up, a whole new life cycle starting up. Might be something new. It does represent um, stepping off the beaten path, not so much concerned about the the end goal as the journey itself getting out of your comfort zone this is about starting off on a brand new path or the opportunity to start off on a brand new path but not but again maintaining this more conservative measured approach because the knight of coins is very conservative but the fool is quite the opposite the fool just hop on a plane without any real plan so this is about combining the best of both of those energies starting off on a brand new perhaps exciting new maybe a little bit nerve-wracking path but doing it with some kind of plan or planning some of you it just may be a new job or career path that's opening up that's outside of your norm right from the bottom of the deck <coughs> the overall energy and focus is the five of swords which is a card about victory but but it's more about ambition um you know winning at all costs and for some of you it can represent you know cutting people places situations out of your life because they've they've been disappointing unfulfilling they've stabbed you in the back they've um you know this is a victory which comes which may not feel like a victory at the time but it's because the victory is that you've cut something out of your life someone a situation a habit of your of your own some of you this may be just struggling with a bad habit a bad pattern whether it's you know like physical addiction or um overspending you know um overdoing something and the victory comes from cutting that out whether it's a situation whether it's a habit whether it's a job whether it's a relationship with someone this is about and the whole reading i can see is kind of about that it's the struggle to cut something out of your life something someone a habit something that's become unhealthy or that you've discovered is bad for you you know again with the devil card there it's tempting that temptation is strong to pull you back in there right habits patterns a relationship your own kind of 
way of thinking about something. Let's clarify a bit. Five of Swords. But I'm seeing like healing and hope here. I'm seeing kind of a, a combination of things. Some of you may be going through a, a bit of a struggle in trying to separate yourself from something. But but there is also a ray of sunshine, and I think you're seeing that ray of sunshine too. And and I mean, it's a short period of time. We're only looking basically at a round two week period of time. You're seeing this too. It's like, yeah, this is difficult kind of moving forward on this, but there's also this open door and this bright light and opportunity in front of me. And, and I know that that's where I'm headed. Clarify five of swords. <clears throat> Ace of Cups, King of Wands, Six of Cups. King of Wands can be you, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It can also be another fire sign. We do have Emperor here, was which is attached to the sign of Aries. Again, strong Aries energy here for some of you as well. Um, the Six of Cups represents history. Uh, roots of origin, something we have a strong connection with or a historical, you know, some history with. It might be the secondary soulmate card for some of you. The Ace of Cups, new love and romance, the heart opening up again or being at the beginning of a path where the heart is opening up. I feel like this is describing what you're trying to pull away from. But for some of you, you're trying to pull away from something that you have a long history and a connection to that is maybe has turned out to be not so healthy it does feel like there's something new in front of you and you're trying to move towards that but again the struggle is in breaking ties with the old let's clarify that devil it may be that what you're having to get over in this devil card well let me pull it is the hope that something right the star and the five of cups is clarifying this devil card right so i think this is kind of getting over what what's the temptation what's the addiction what's the obsession what's the unhealthiness in this it's hope basically and hope in and of itself is a beautiful thing we, we can't go through life without it right um but but the star is renewal after something difficult happened it's the it's renewal it's restoration it's rebuilding it's it's a second chance, right? The Five of Cups is win some, lose some. You're focusing on what's lost. There's two cups behind you. And so the temptation, these cards are clarifying the devil. So here, what you're trying to rip yourself away from, and the intensity in a general reading is going to vary, right? It's, it's the idea that something is going to work out which isn't really working out. That something is going to turn out to be... You know what you hoped and thought it was going to be in the beginning you've been disappointed many times maybe betrayed many times or just let down many times but you kept having this 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 level of of hope that it was going to turn into what you wanted it to be the true abundant and fulfillness of the vision you had for it and you keep and but but that's the cycle of the devil it's, oh, it'll be different this time. Uh, what's that saying? You know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results each time. Well, how could that possibly be, right? And that's what I feel you're trying to get over here. A relationship, a situation, something that kept letting you down over and over and over again. But you kept telling yourself each time, oh, it'll be different this time. It'll be better. It's going to do this, right? And again, in a general reading, that situation could be a relationship with somebody else, romantic or otherwise, a job, a, a pattern you have, an unhealthy pattern yourself that you have. Well, underlying this is this unhealthy ideology that if I just keep doing this, if I just keep pushing at it, somehow it's magically going to change, right? But I think here you're waking up to the realization that it's not. Let's clarify that Six of Swords and the Emperor for healing. Um, but the history, the connection that we have with these people, places, situations, our own bad habits, the, the, the history, the length of time we have invested in it is often the hardest thing to pull away from, right? Because it's difficult to walk away from something, someone, a habit that we've invested so much time and energy into, right? cards flip out here for the six of swords well look at that yeah 
the Ace of Swords and the Five of Swords again. The Ace of Swords is the epiphany. That's the wake-up call. That's the beginning of knowledge, truth, insight, seeing something for the perspective of what it really is, realizing that there is no need for the battle. The victory comes from walking away, and that's where the healing comes from as well. Let's clarify that emperor that's with that healing, six of swords. I think for some of you, this emperor represents a twofold situation. For some of you, it might represent somebody else that you're in a relationship with that's just like, it's their way or the highway. And, but, but the, you know, the two-edged sword part of it is that the emperor also represents control. And this here is like, it's giving up control. It's giving up the illusion, which is what you've been fighting, that you can control the situation, that you can make it what it is, because you're throwing yourself basically against a, a brick wall. It's not going to, it's, it's never going to manifest into what you, you, you wanted it to be, unfortunately, because it's not the right thing, which fortunately means that the right thing, what you're truly after is yet in front of you. Yeah, the Ten of Swords feeling betrayed, thrown into the bus, stabbed in the back, feeling like, um, you know, this is waking up to a realization that something just, it's not, it's just not going to be the thing I need it to be, right? Swords is, you know, governed by air, which governs our mind. It might be a painful realization, but tens also represent a cycle ending, a closure out of a cycle, a coming full circle. So yeah, this is coming to the difficult realization that, yeah, this isn't, this just isn't. It's not, it hasn't been, it's not going to be, and I'm moving on. The only thing that kind of is difficult, the struggle is, is pulling yourself, cutting the ties of, of the history that you have put, you know, all the time that's went into this. But then we have this, but it, we're healing here too. Uh, and healing is not a smooth process, especially the initial part of it. You have up days, you have down days, but you move through them. And then we have the Knight of Coins and the Fool, which is moving forward on a completely brand new path. <clears throat> we have the page of cups and the devil but the devil's in reverse we have the devil twice we have the five of swords twice this thing really let me clarify this fool This may be an opportunity through another situation, through another person, an opportunity of, of an offer of help that's driven by love, support, and concern, help to, you know, to give you some extra support to get you off this path. And onto a more right path. Yeah, judgment here, a pretty major life-changing decision here. God, I just got hit with like three different storylines at once. So I feel like for some of you, whatever this issue is, whoever or whatever this issue is, whether it's with another person, I mean, fundamentally, the, the, the struggle is always within ourselves. Whatever this the, the issue is, it has a very strong hold on you. It's difficult to pull away from, and I can see that struggle here for, for, for some of you. Some of you, whatever or whoever this devil card represents, which we have twice here, um, you know, there that even if it's your own habit, it's, it's not easy. You know, this is a, you just really have to kind of rip yourself away from this thing because there is an offer, an opportunity to start a brand new path, a brand new life path here. And one that's, you know, represented by judgment and justice here. This is like, um, the opportunity to walk a path that is true, that is straight, that is right, that is even, that is moderate, that is temperate, right? It, it feels like this, you know, 
clearly like the angel and the devil kind of you know you've 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 got the devil card here whispering in the air saying but this and all that time and all that you know and then you've got the angel in judgment here going yes there's a brand new path over here you have to come over here and start this brand new right path so i mean free will free agency at the end of the day but let's see what spirit has to say about it it's an interesting reading some of you this is going to just represent a habit that you have that's really really hard to break there's an opportunity for a new path and i feel like there's help on this new path as well support advice and guidance for leo <clears throat> four of swords take a step back and rest for a minute this is taking this is taking time to take a break basically i'm worn out i'm exhausted particularly by all the thoughts in my head so i'm taking a temporary step back right he's still dressed in the armor but he's laid his swords down for the time being to rest recuperate gain a different perspective and the chariot before you go back into the battle and win goodness two of cups four of wands soulmate kindred spirit partnership energy marriage celebratory events might be an offer here the ten of pentacles and the fool again long-term stability and security ace of wands brand new beginnings okay what i'm seeing here and what spirit is advocating is that you've got you're being pulled in two different directions a lot of you have a new opportunity and it is beautiful and it is true and it has real security and stability long-term security and stability which means you don't have to worry about tomorrow next week next month next year constantly be on edge constantly hustling constantly you know worried and again because this is a general reading what that is it could be in a relationship that has some practical and economical aspects to it it could be a job situation a career path situation it could be your own ideology and belief system about spending and budgeting and things like that it, i mean i'm getting all three of those different things but what i'm seeing here is this major struggle between this beautiful new path which actually provides in the long run you with the security and stability that you need and crave and that is what spirit is advocating for this new change this new path this new pattern this new opportunity not the old which is trying desperately to pull you back into that unhealthy cycle so the two of cups element to it the two of cups fundamentally represents a great union a beautiful union in more than just the obvious ways now for some of you this might be in a relationship love and romance or otherwise it could be um, the two of cups can show up for job work career path as well again it means something that is just a great match for you right celebrations I'm actually kind of getting under the umbrella of relationship readings. Some of you may have may have been dating somebody new-ish, and they're making you this offer of stability, uh, meaning newer than what the devil card represents. And they're offering you like marriage, real stability, but there's still this connection to somebody else. Again, kind of that's at the heart of this. So it's about breaking that devil cycle and moving forward so i think i'll just leave it there those are your messages leo for the first half of september 2023 i hope they were relevant give you some food for thought were helpful for you again if they were you'd like to reach out for a personal reading take a deeper look at something or you simply like the reading style and you're interested in a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else please email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com you can see that by clicking the title of this video the description link of this video i would be delighted to hear from you and to work with you i will see you all um, in a couple of weeks for the september mid-month readings stay safe and well hope to see you back here again soon bye-bye